very normal. Better off than you or Sean Paul. <laughs> I know, right? It would be perfect. Oh, I was also thinking for the center. Okay, ready to. Can't you see I'm on a very important phone call? I'm sorry. Anyways, as I was saying, for the center. For the centerpieces, I was thinking cloth and fiberglass strands made out like clouds with a light under it. Right, you know, something like heaven with a photo frame of myself in the center. I know, it's perfect. Yes, I, yes, I thought of that myself just now. <laughs> right, right. Okay, we'll talk. Ciao. What? The people are ready to pitch their ideas on why they deserve a GLAAD award. Send them in. He's ready for you. Um, hi. Um, I'm the founder of First Youth, an LGBT support organization for teens. Uh, we've helped house and counsel over 30,000 kids, most of whom have been kicked out of their own homes just for being gay. And Excuse me. Do you know any celebrities? What? Do you know any famous, interesting people? You know, the opposite of you. Do they ever come and visit your cafeteria or restaurant or brothel or church or whatever it is that you started? It's a non-profit organization. For teens, it helps these kids with self-acceptance and... Wah, 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 wah. But do you know Paris Hilton? No. Next! Hi. I started an organization for lesbians. It's about community and empowerment. And we do it through rights, uh, charity services, education. Any celebrities? Yes. Uh, we had writers like uh, Melissa Etheridge. We had Alan, Portia, Rosie, um, Meredith Baxter. Impressive. What's it called? Dykes with Bikes. Sorry, that's too offensive. Offensive? Hello. Dyke is on our list. I mean, awkwardly, disgustingly, awfully, awesomely, disgustingly, badly bad. Of words that we cannot use in our society. According to what? According to our GLAD reference guide. <coughs> we took the power of, of the word Dyke back, okay? It's our word. We wear it like a badge. Sorry, but according to us, you can't say Dyke, queer, queen, homosexual, tranny, grass, sky, the colors green, blue, orange, fuchsia, heaven forbid, black, mayonnaise, Mexican, bluebird, sunshine, happiness, equal, one, two, three, four, five, and six, mature, patient, kumquat, manhole, rooster, Jarrett, and Kathy Lee Gifford. Next! <laughs> really? May I help you? Yes. I've won just about every pageant there is in the world, and now I would like this to be my platform to help young gays when they decide that they want to take a career as a drag queen. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, you're cool, Pa. You can't use the word queen. Okay. As a female impersonator. I'm sorry. We don't like to represent you. Are you serious? You do know that it was drag queens that started the riots at Stonewall. You know it was drag queens who started the gay rights movement. It was drag queens that they call every single time they want to raise money for just about everything. Yes, but you scare us. I scare you? Thank you. Kick my ass. Security! I wonder if he knows you're Paul. Wait, never mind. Hi, I'm Dr. Lovejoy. I invented the pill that cures and prevents HIV and AIDS. <laughs> it's already been approved by the FDA, and we can get it out right now and start saving lives. This is going I to know. be huge. When you find more speaking, we can show my face on the screen. Life changing. That would be fantastic, orally, awesomely awesome, don't you think? Right. Question. Yes. 
Do you know George Clooney, personally? No. Why would I know George Clooney? Next! <laughs> You're so bad. Hi! I'm the very first transgender woman to ever play a leading role in a feature film. Get trans? Wow. It's just not gonna work, honey. You're too pretty. I mean, <laughs> you look like a woman to me. You're representing trans women as feminine and beautiful. Unacceptable. Can you make yourself look more like a truck driver or a pimp? No! You're such an asshole. Then can you remake the film and cast someone like Annette Bening or Felicity Huffman in the leading roles? They're not even trans. They're not even lesbians. But they're famous and have plenty of money to give me. I mean, um, glad. Who did you suck off to get this job? Next! Hi, I think I'm lost. I'm filthy rich and I'm supposed to have lunch with Kim Kardashian. How would you like to receive a GLAAD award? Sure. What's GLAAD? Don't you wish we were still relevant? At least we throw great parties.